Hello everyone, welcome to Japa Code. It's MS Gideon here and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to avoid unnecessary delays in your visa application process for UK visas. First of all, we already know you should already know that the application timelines for a standard UK visa application is 15 working days. And if you decide to do the priority visa, it's five working days. And if you decide to do this for priority visa, you get it in 24 hours. Unfortunately, the priority, super priority visas are not available to every uh, visa category. So if you have those options, use them. But even when you are applying for your visas, how do you avoid unnecessary delays in the process? That's what I'm going to share with you guys. Now, the first thing is you need to think like the visa officers. What is likely going to cause a delay? The visa officer's job is to ensure that as much as possible, ascertain that your reasons for coming to the UK are legitimate, that they are, you have genuine reasons for coming in, rather than just coming to a loop and then mount pressure on their resources. Now, to help him do this, he is most likely going to depend on information that you supply to him to make that decision. So, the more information you give him, uh, the better. But be careful so you don't submit information that now puts you in a position where you need to be further questioned, information that is not necessary. So, the first thing I would re recommend is read and understand everything properly. In your application process if at any point you are not clear ask questions ask people who have done it come to this youtube channel and ask a question under this video now because um, i've seen people who submit documents that uh, only raises more questions for them so instead of submitting documents that only raise more questions for you focus on reading and understanding what's required of you and supply those documents now that's the first thing the second step is you need to ensure that you submit clear and properly scanned documents now some people's documents they submit documents that edge is cut off a part of the text is cut off or it's blur it's not readable and already it starts to look like are you trying to hide something well for the visa officer doing his job he's going to send you an email to supply those documents even if it's there because he cannot assess it or because he cannot read it and what that does is for that elongates the timeline within which your decision is going to be made so that's not what you want guys so ensure that the documents you are submitting are clear and they are readable also closely related to this is avoid submitting suspicious documents i mean you have your 28 day bank statement and <laughs> there's only two transactions or there's no transaction on it at all that's not a legitimate document. Okay, well, it may be legitimate, but I'll, I'll literally probe you. If I was himself, so I'll probe you. I'll ask you questions. Uh, uh, submissively, or, 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 or submitting the false documents. I mean, they check these things. Like, I, I know that they don't check every one, but what if yours is the one they check? So, you must avoid submitting false documents or documents that are not clear at all. Right? You want to ensure that you gather supporting documents that are legitimate provide supporting documents that are legitimate now there are some documents that for example you've been out of school for 5 10 15 years what have you been doing within within this time frame provide documents to show what you've been doing and these documents can be pictures they can be anything Provide documents. You don't have. This is not the time to go and fake uh, uh, an employment letter if you have not been working. What have you been doing? Provide the document and explain it. Right. That's what. That's what it means. Even, even if it means just writing an introduction letter to introduce yourself and say what it is that you have been doing. Right. And in the event that you are called up for an interview, prepare for the interview. Know your course models. Know uh, uh, the, the location of your school. Know what. Know what you are going to UK to do. Right, that's that's uh, that's basically how it is. And then finally, pray, guys, pray, pray, pray. Now, because whether you like it or not, you're hu we're humans, and it's sometimes it's uh, because of the anxiety that comes with this process. It's possible to make mistakes, so it's important whatever you believe in, whatever you believe, whether it's uh, Jesus, Allah, whatever it is that you believe in, pray. Whatever it is that you believe in, pray. Right, pray to God and trust Him for help. Right. 
so that's it guys on this in this uh, video and and if you have any questions feel free to ask and then join the telegram channel where i share updates with the community and if you're not subscribed to this channel come on guys subscribe to this channel so that you assess the opportunities we bring your way that's it for today thank you god bless bye bye